Well, aluminum, it's one of the most exciting metals you, you, you'll ever meet. And let me tell you why. Because aluminum is so easy to recycle. And I'm here to tell you why it's so important to recycle aluminum. It, it's, uh, I'll tell you an interesting fact about aluminum. Most of our aluminum in the United States is mined overseas in different countries. Approximately 90% of the aluminum is mined in a different country. So what happens, we're in another country, the aluminum is mined, it's basically dug out of a hole in the ground, aluminum bauxite, it's loaded onto a ship, and that ship is traveling across an ocean using engines that burn diesel or some other kind of fossil fuel, creating air pollution. And finally, it lands on the shores of this country, then it's transported again in a truck or something that burns more fossil fuels to take it to a processing facility where the, the aluminum bauxite is ground up and then made into aluminum. And then after it goes through all that, it arrives in our hand as an aluminum can. So if you drink something from that uh, aluminum can as some type of beverage and you throw that aluminum can into the trash, it's a terrible waste of all that energy that's gone in from the other country across the ocean. Across, I think you get the story. So what can you do? It's so simple. Just recycle the aluminum can. If you recycle one aluminum can and you compare the amount of energy it takes to make an aluminum can from raw materials versus making it from recycled materials, that extra energy you would be able to run a television set for up to three hours. That's how much energy is saved from recycling just one aluminum can. So if you recycle an aluminum can, you, just one can, you're doing so much for the environment. If you recycle all the aluminum cans you ever use throughout the year, you're doing wonders for the environment. So I pleaded with you, please recycle your aluminum cans. If you would like some more information about aluminum recycling, well, check out the California Environmental Protection Agency website. It has all kinds of information how you can live a little more gently on the earth.